Howdy folks, how are you today? Stay, stay baby, stay there. Good dog. Uh, getting ready to adjust this clutch pedal like I was talking about uh, a week ago or something like that. Just climbed under the chalk and checked all some fluids. Once in a while I do that, top them off. Uh, monthly inspection report I gotta do. That's what I fill it out with because I really don't do too on maintenance on this truck. But uh, what I do do, I put on that sheet, you know, topped off the coolant, some oil in there because she's about ready for an oil change and a PM because I need to do a DOT inspection here next week or so. Whenever those tires come in, I can tell you that much right now. Uh, waiting on those things forever. But uh, I know they're coming soon, so that's a good thing. Obviously, you can see I've already been up under the truck. A little dirty on me. But uh, that's okay, because, well, that's what happens when you're an owner-operator and you do all your own shit. You get dirty, which is fine. I don't mind it. Um, nice bar of dial will clean that right off, to be honest with you. Um, fifth wheel grease, you name it, dial's the trick. Go in there with the bar, dial soap, and all this stuff just comes right off. I mean, I've been black as night. Um, and just from being dirty from that stuff, that grease and that dial, man, just cleans you right off. So I'm gonna climb in a truck real quick and move it because once I get done doing what I'm doing, I'm gonna try to adjust that pedal once I get done with that. Uh, my slide onto the truck, I don't know because I don't wanna have to sit there and key that thing if I don't need to too much. But I do wanna get some more space with that pedal, so that's what I'm gonna do first. Uh, then I'm gonna wash the truck up because I'm getting ready to run tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I think it's supposed to rain maybe Tuesday. I don't know, but keep it as clean as I can because it hasn't rained since Sunday and it's been pretty much dry. So I'll keep it clean, get her cleaned up. You know, like I said, I already topped off all the fluids and stuff, so that's good. Uh, you know, just kind of go over it because I'm still slipping out here once in a while and I just, I'm not sure if that throw out bearing is too close, you know, to where it needs to be to where, or the clutch pedal's down too much to where it's putting pressure on that to where, you know, it's catching or what, or I don't know, I'm just dumbfounded with this stuff. Can't wait to get those new tires and see if that's what it was. If that's what it was, then, well, that's what it was. Those things probably should have been rotated about a month or two ago, but whatever. I, I honestly wasn't even expecting to be driving that truck right now because of I would have been running the green truck and that I was going to sell that blue truck in the spring but uh, you know situations with the green truck couldn't do that so it's what it is so that's what I'm running so I gotta keep that thing up to date so we can run it and make sure everything's good make our money that we need to to survive because that's all we need to do is make money to survive because if I want something extra, I'll work a couple extra days or something. Make some extra money, but whatever. Well, sounds like we got air in that truck, so let's get that thing moved back. I guess you can come with me if you want to. We ain't going far, but I get it moved. And we'll talk about that pedal. Get out here and talk about that pedal. This thing, man, I'm going to clean this thing up one of these days. She needs a wash. Sure. Should be getting a VIN sticker for that thing. Uh, here any day. I think she said a couple weeks to take a VIN sticker because it don't have one. They get the title switched over to my name and do something with it because, well, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. i just let her go. Because, well, I, uh, Never get that green chalk back. That's gonna be my main focus. If I ever get it back. I slapped right into gear, but uh, usually when it's cool like this, when you first start up, you have no problems whatsoever. That thing will just go right into gear, no problem. But uh, later on in the day, the more you run, just takes a while to get her to slap into gear and it's kind of irritating so I don't, I'm not, I don't have to turn that key probably a couple times to get that clutch where I want to. Is this heater on? Oh uh, no. It's actually nice out today. I think it's like 70 degrees. No time. We had all that good weather and then next thing you know we didn't have had nothing but shit weather lately. So Right there to be a washer up and we're done. Get up there and 
adjust the brakes too. They feel a little spongy, but I don't know. Kick this off. Let's see here. Look down here. That's where we're at. You think should probably be about right there. My foot is. Cause there ain't no uh there ain't no play that's just stiff as soon as you're going in there should be a little bit of give there so i'm gonna get up under here there's a bolt i'm gonna take this off and i'll bring you back when i do take this off right here and get to this bolt and try to just bring this up some that way it's a little bit higher try to get a little bit of a gap there see if i can do that um Hopefully that'll help, help me out a little bit. If not, I guess we'll keep on messing with it until we get it to where it needs to be. So I'm gonna get off here real quick and grab some tools and take it off real quick and that way I can get to that bolt and I'll show you what it is and then we'll adjust it and uh, fire it back up and see what we got. So till then, you know what we say, we will see ya. Uh, howdy folks, I'm back. Well, it's me again. Well, I got my trusty friend down here, a little board got her sticking in there um there's a little knob up here i'll take this out right now because i just had it down there because i wanted to uh see some shit when i got under the truck see where that um throw out bearing and stuff and that clutch plate that brake was at when i push that in all the way because i um, pretty much loosen this up see how that's a little different now it wasn't stiff before loosen this bolt right here on the back and I uh, adjusted this because I'd never adjusted that before. And that's basically a stop. And that thing was far back, probably about a, a quarter of an inch back. So I loosened that up and pulled it forward. That way it hits up here when uh, you shove it in. The way this thing's not going all the way back in and stuff. So I'm pretty sure that's what uh, that'll take care of that. Cause I did start it, run it and shoved it in a couple times. And uh, climbed up under the truck. I tried to, you know, like I did the one time, get that bolt to where it was and I needed it to be up under here, but I could not get this thing to turn. I got it almost where I needed it to be. And then I turned it a couple more times and I lost it. So I just figured piss on it. Um, probably gonna grease this thing up now here. And uh, she needs it. Not really, but it always likes to be grease after it's rained and stuff. And well, I ran through some heavy rain all Sunday, that's for sure. The thing it rained all day, got the river all flooded out and shit. So probably grab this, pop it up real quick. Um yeah, that's what I use. Oh, I gotta put that back on though. Put that plate on because that just goes right there. This little plate. Two bolts right here. This bolts off the carpet and stuff. It's my handy dandy horn. If I had 12 volts, I could honk it, but uh, actual horn wouldn't work for some reason. Kept on clicking the fuse out, so this just goes up here like this and covers that right there like that. So you can easy, easily access all that stuff pretty much. Same thing with that one. Get to the wires real easy. One thing I like about working on this truck, everything can uh, pretty much be accessed pretty easy. You don't have a, uh, you know, a bunch of crap you got to worry about. Oh, that's empty. We got another one in the garage, Joe, so that's good. But uh, yeah, I got to get this thing cleaned up here. Probably get some of this crap out of here because I doubt I'm going to need that winterish coat anymore. But, uh, it's dirty. Needs a wash. Window's gonna have to go back up though. Close that real quick. She dirty. You can see all that crap on there. Tanks. Dirty stacks. Gross. Dirty. 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 She is dirty. He, she, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'd say it's a dude, but whatever. Get this stuff all cleaned up. We'll start picking some stuff out for that so I get that thing painted. I can't wait. Some actual decent weather here. Took these off, checked in there, made sure the oil was good in that. Oh. 
bolt on the other side check that made sure the oil was good in that check that one rear diff check this rear diff she was good hooked in there filled that up put a gallon of uh, antifreeze in here because it was a little low it's got a little bit of a drip but whatever don't really care well other than that dude the thing is uh thing just needs washed up then uh we can run her tomorrow make some money because well i've been sitting around all week pretty much I'm supposed to run on tuesday uh things were slow i don't know what's going on shit slows down at campbell's so whatever they didn't have the loads they weren't loading stuff i just told them give them to somebody else i don't even care i didn't even care i was so pissed from sunday getting soaked the whole day that i didn't even really care to work just wanted to sit around and do whatever i wanted to and that's pretty much what i do so that's what i'm gonna do now get that window up and do some other things Crank that up and grease it because it needs greased. And then uh, wash it up because, well, it needs washed. So till the next time I do something, I guess you know what we say. We will see you.